Hi guys and welcome to the long game and I am just down at my favorite marina the sun is out it's absolutely stunning um, I was going to put a pair of sunglasses on but I thought then you can't actually see me very well well you might be able to see me very well with the sun anyway but I'm going to walk this way so the sun's not in my eyes um, the long game what are we talking about here what a lot of people do, especially in this podcasting game, and you want to go for high profit, is they get a few customers buying one of the products that's produced, you know, a training program or podcast series that they've produced, and we talk about that in more depth on the courses. But instead of going for more customers, see, they get excited. They go, well, I've got some customers. I'll just sell more to them. I'll produce some more products. Rather than have one product, now I'll have three products. There's three potential sales. The issue with that is you're building a very, very small foundation for business growth and for long-term podcast profit podcasting growth. What you really need to do, rather than go for more product, is go for more people. So when you've got one product that's being successful, my advice is to concentrate on improving that one product. Concentrate on improving that, making that better, giving free updates to people who've already bought so they become your raving fans. And by just concentrating on one thing, it allows you to concentrate on what's really important, and that is getting more customers. Not more products, more customers, and finding more ways, new ways, better ways of hiring customers and potential customers to find you. So it's not more product, it's more people, and it's developing ways, more ways, for more people to find you. I hope that's helpful. I hope it makes sense to you. Um, it is tempting to think, well, I just have multiple products, so I'll make more money. It's a very, very short-term game. Long-term game is more people. Build that really big, solid base. Okay, so we're talking the long game and products and not diversifying on products, but by sticking to the one product and improving it. And then working out better ways to find more people to find that one product. So you build a really big, strong customer base. That's where the secret is. Not more products, more people. I just want to cover off an important aspect of the types of people you really want to be attracting to you. So, if you're in this educational space, this podcasting space that we're in, and training and educating people, you really have to look at what do people want from you. Well, the number one thing they do want from you is a relationship. They want to get to know you and like you and trust you before they do business with you. So that's why you see all of us in this game giving away free educational material because we know that is one of the things that people want. So the image that we're trying to create and we are creating is that we have some knowledge and we're willing to share it with people for free. And look, and that is fine. Some people never do business with you and that's fine. But the ones that do want to see and want the evidence that you're happy to do this with them. The second part, and this is where I think some people get a little bit confused. They think people don't need to know anything about what you're talking about. You're the guru. You're the outstanding one. You know, here I am. <laughs> and that's not true. There's a thing called experience. Now, some people have got no experience at all. And I think they're going to be very difficult to sell to because they've just got no idea. It's totally out of their realm. And then you've got the people with masses of experience. Now, these people are also just really difficult to deal with because they can do it themselves. They actually don't need you. That's why they're doing it that way. Um, and that's how they've got all their knowledge in the first place. What we're looking for is people that have a little bit of knowledge. They know this stuff. They know it works. They just want some help. And what they're doing is they're looking for the best person to help them. So, morning. <laughs> people walking past when you're filming. Um, that's what they're looking for. They're looking for someone to help them. So the important part, once you've got your product, part of your image building is one, you're happy to build relationships, happy to share knowledge, but you're happy to help those people who've got some knowledge, but just need some help, just getting over that hurdle, and maybe just want to be part of a really successful community. So 
It's one product, but more ways for people to find you and paint the image, develop the image that you can help those that want to be helped and you're happy to be there and support them. So I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.